What's up guys, Cosmo here. We're doing some more Final Fantasy VIII Remastered walkthroughs today. So for today's episode, we're going to be doing uh, the Shumi Village. Uh, last time, what did we even do? I don't fucking remember. Just go back and watch the video. So Shumi Village, as you can tell, is about as far north as north can go. Yeah, way up here in this frozen abyss. Uh, you can fight some good shit here. There's this, like, unicorn horse thing up here you can fight that has a mesmerized blade you can get from one of Squall's weapons. That circular forest over there in the background, um, is for the trophy to go capture Chocobo. If you want to go ride one, you just walk into there and you can do some shit. That's gonna be another episode. But, this right here is Shumi Village is what it looks like. So just sail your garden up. Uh, you can kinda, there's like a little sand bank, like, right about here where the mouse is pointing. That you can get up to. But yeah, we're just gonna walk on in and get it started. It's gonna be a bit of a video, there's a lot of steps to it. But yeah, um, here's your little disclaimer for those of y'all who don't want to be doing it. This is not a trophy, so you probably don't want to be doing it, but let me tell you why you should. A, there is a Timber Maniacs in here, so that's good, but there's also a draw point right here. I mean, obviously you don't have to do the whole thing, but if you want to go up to Shumi Village, you just gotta pay five grand, which, I mean, is not horrible. But, it's an Ultima draw point. That's why you want it. It's the best flipping spell in the entire game. It does offensive matter, non-elemental damage, so they can't absorb it or block it or anything. It's just pure damage. But the main reason why you want to do this quest is because you get quite a bit of rewards for it. You get stuff like a status guard, um, and some other shit too that I'm going to be showing you here in a second. But yeah, so we've got the Ultima there, we've got a Fyraga and a Blizzaga for draw points, and the Timber Maniac uh, magazine is in here as well. Once you hit disc 4 um, and you get to Ultimisha's castle, you can't do it anymore. So make sure you do it before. Yeah, this is where Norg is from, if y'all remember. And he's turning into a Moomba right now, which is just th this game's knockoff of the Red 13 from Final Fantasy VII. Seriously, they look identical. It's c crazy. Not really, it's the same company that made the fucking game. I mean, come on. So, this is all underground. Like, all of this. Yeah, so if you notice, this is the same music that um, Laguna was listening to, uh, what's her bucket play? I don't remember her name. Renoa's mom. Oh yeah, and then here's this little Moomba thingy. Yeah. And then now it's playing the Balam Town music. I think it's Balam Town. Weird though, huh? And then yeah, we'll save point in here for the village. May or may not come in handy, I don't know. Uh, you're, you're really not going to be fighting anything in here. It's going to be pretty straightforward. So we just got to find the sculptor's workshop, which I guess is all the way at the end of the village. So I've just got to go left. Oddly enough, this place reminds me a bit of um, the church thing in Final Fantasy VII, where with the flowers kind of growing out of it, how it's like all decrepit and stuff. But yeah. Can I not get to that draw point? Guess not. Well, that kind of blows. That must be the elder's house, then. Little froggy. But yeah, I love how this whole thing's underground. It's cool. Hey, there's your Maniacs Museum. Or, wow, your Maniacs Magazine, not the museum. Again, I'm going to be picking all those up later. Oh, my seed ring dropped. Oh, well. If you uh, don't fight a whole lot, then your seed rank will steadily kind of go down. Yeah, so these guys, the uh, the Shumi just likes making stuff. And I appreciate that. They're just like, a, you know, Fisherman's Horizon. They just like making shit. <laughs> yeah, look at that car. And then, hey, the car at the beginning of the game that we got to drive. And the bus from uh, Diling City. I think if you 
click on one or something, they can do some stuff. So, okay, so after you get done speaking with him, we're going to go talk to the village elder. I don't know where he's at. He's around here somewhere. Just keep walking around so you find him. Oh, okay, so here's the workshop. So that was the artist said this is the workshop, so you gotta go here first. Yeah, they're making a statue of Laguna. That guy just teleported out of nowhere, did you see that? Oh my god. Who are you, sir? Are you Batman? Sorta. He's only my dad. So if you remember when Laguna jumped off the cliff with his friends, apparently he washed up here and they helped him out. Either that or he wound up in Windhill. I don't quite remember. Laguna does a lot of stuff that doesn't really track. Yeah, so just go ahead and hit OK. That drop point right there is the fire rock I was talking about. So that is the elders' place is where they're with that Moomba. You raise Moombas? You don't raise a Moomba. The many final forms. Are you Frieza? <laughs> oh. Yeah. refers to himself in third person too. These guys are really alien and I dig it. Those beasts. Dude, they're, they're shit. Yeah. What did you call? Yeah, so all of that, it's in yellow for a reason. Yeah, noble features, gem-like eyes, bright red hair, spectacular hair, Mighty hands, proud postures. Yeah, they really like fucking Moopas. You and your big mouth. Yep, working on it. Just wanna get some points. Oh, we're all full up. Good. Just wanna make sure. Alright, let's take off. This way. So now we gotta go see the elder. Again, it's just where the guarding down this way a bit. Oh, yep, here it is. Did you see it just slide on its butt? It just kind of rotated. And here's Blizzaga, which we're all full up again. Good. I think the Moombas are adorable. Like, they're just big old puppers. So is it just me or did Norg look like really fat? And these guys are all real tall and skinny and stuff. Maybe it's just because he was in that big round pod. Oh yeah, right around when Squall was born. Oh, okay. So this is after Wind Hill. So he jumped off the cliff somehow wound up in Wind Hill where a rain treated his wounds. And then he jumped off a cliff again like a dumbass and wound up in here, this village. He tried to teach a Moomba how to speak. Of course he would do that. Yeah, what a journalist. Believing that words are important. I love it. Yeah. I know, he's horrible with words. Yeah, his communication skills are horrible. For a journalist, I know. I love it. It's his happy-go-lookiness, man. He just 
Just powers through everything with sheer optimism. I better not say anything. Uh... I mean, I like it. His house has got a lot of fish and stuff. They call me attendant. Yeah, their names are their jobs. It's kind of crazy. Came all this way. It's not even far. We want to give you a gift, but you gotta work for it. <laughs> So yeah, now we just go back to Sculptor in the workshop. This is going to have a lot of back and forth, so you're definitely going to need some patience for it, but I promise you it's more than worth it. And it's not even just the reward that he's talking about. There's a lot. There's more to it than just his reward. statue or help him out with it we can actually just go back to the elder to get our reward for not doing anything <laughs> we just said we'd help and it's like hey we're we're done <laughs> i guess okay i guess we do have to get the stones first cool sorry my book said it uh just go back to the elder. But yeah, let's do it. So, bluestone is just to the left of the statue in the workshop. So this big boulder right here. And go back. So much back and forth. But thankfully all the stones are just right here in the village. So you don't need to like go all over the world map or anything. You just have to walk all the way back up and down this town. But it's a nice town. It's pretty. I like it. Got good music. <laughs> Son of a I wanna Damn. It's so hard. 
hard to do. Yep, life stones. Next, so the life stone. Yeah, so you'll find the life stone in the tree roots to the right of the elder's house. You can clearly see them on the back of the wall. On the, the back of the screen, the wall, the thing. I'll show you. I can't talk. I'm very tired. Right here, it's, yeah, it's on the, like, literally, yeah, I just walked up to it and called it a day. But yeah, I mean, it's, you you run by this, it's so unmistakable. It's a big old tree. And what greater thing for a lifestone than a tree growing out of a rock? Makes sense. You know, we haven't done enough back and forth yet. So yeah, we gotta go back up the elevator. And then come out. It's right near where the uh, Ultima is. There's a bunch of shadows on the ground out front. And so we just have to go to one of those and just pick it up. So, yeah, return to the surface via the elevator, go down the steps, search to the right in a large shadow that overlaps the shadows cast by the dome overhead, is what my book says. So again, I'll show you guys in a sec. down again. Sweet Jesus. Squall's legs are going to be so strong by the end of this. All this running back and forth. Hey, I know we gotta stop the sorceress and like that school got nuked by missiles and shit, but uh, here's some stones, I guess. No big deal. Sorcerers just committing war crimes and we're gathering stones for a statue. Side quests. check this one right here where this frog is but just said here's another stone that's actually not the correct one so the real water stone used for washing inside the artisan's house which I don't remember what house this is is it you, sir? Yes, this is Artisan. Hmm. I guess I have to go back and turn in this water stone just to have him tell me it's not the right one or something. Stone we put by the pond. It's 
And it's not a water stone per se. I mean, it is. God. I feel like Sculter did that just to mess with you, honestly. What is he doing with a rock in his kitchen? Why, why are you using a rock to wash dishes? I don't understand. Also, if you notice, that guy had a straight up airplane on his thing, a biplane on the right. Like a regular old Wright Brothers airplane. But like, there are no airplanes in this game. That'd be cool if there were though, man. I can imagine the squad doing some dog fights. That'd be dope. Yay, we did it. So yeah, that's where all the stones are. It only took us 21 minutes. Hell. So now we're gonna go back to the Elder to go get our cool, cool reward. And no, we're not even close to being done. We're like, we're on step four right now out of 15. <laughs> But it's going to be so worth it because we get a status scar and we're going to get even better. We're going to get something called a Phoenix Pinion. What the Phoenix Pinion does is basically we're going to pop it. It's like an AOE Phoenix down. But then it um, will allow Phoenix the summon to just show up every so often. Once um, if all three party members die, it'll just randomly resurrect everybody. So pretty much just save it for the Omega fight, because it'll resurrect two people at the same time. It's really cool. I don't see anything. You can't even see it. Attained eldership. I know, right? It's like... Yeah, the honor of seeing his hands. Oh my god. What a joke. Have shoveled earth, created wonders. His great hands justify his eldership. Do stop by again. And they just... They just take off like, fuck this, I'm out. I, we came all the way to see his hands. Like, nah, man. Please leave at once, he says. Oh, Oh, now you've got something. Yeah, this is just pulling your leg. Yeah, there it is. The Phoenix Pinion. I love how he's like, oh, it's just a souvenir. It's like practically a GF, you know? It's like Odin. What was that hand they called that? Explain what it all meant. Here we go. Let's have Squall get all philosophical on us. Yeah. You know him. You don't know Laguna. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, it was just cool, like, in their own way. Yeah, which, I mean, yeah, they went through a lot, but it is it is just super weird. Yeah, Norg flaunted them like no other. He was constantly waving his hands. What a sham! <laughs> oh, there's like, yeah, we got them good, didn't we? Here, there's nothing. <laughs> oh, how nice of them. A moment of peace in this big-ass war we're in. Sounds like a shitty excuse. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You misunderstood me. Please. Have mercy. No! 
Oh, shit, loud cry. What the hell is that? Oh, that's awesome. So now, we're not done. We're not, like I said, we're like a third of the way done now. So we're going to exit the village completely. And we're going to go to the workshop and talk to a tenant again. You can talk to this guy too. He's just kind of chilling. Just, yeah, a specialist heard what happened in Nord. This guy's a specialist. So basically he's saying no matter what happens, the grass is not greener on the other side. It doesn't matter if you live here or somewhere else, you're going to be living somewhere and it's going to become your new normal. So it's like even if you go out and try and find something cool or make something of yourself, it's like you can just stay put and make something of yourself. It doesn't really matter either way. Which is kind of depressing, honestly, and kind of cool at the same time. It's weird. are just pipes. I think it's real interesting. Like, every society in here is, like, super tech-based, except Deling City. And Timber, pretty much. But, like, the Shumis are super inventive, Fisherman's Horizon are super inventive, Esther is, like, an, an alien country, because it's so technologically advanced. They have spaceships, man what the Ragnarok is. Like, every other place is, like, off the hook, and then there's Deling City. It's got a bus, you know? <laughs> it's got a bridge that can close and stuff. <laughs> like, that's, like, it. Cool sewer system, you know? <laughs> and it completely turns and runs over my head. Oh. Hi, attendant. You wanna play cards? Do you play cards? He does not play cards, okay. So you just gotta talk to him, he'll only have the one thing to say, then you go talk to the elder. Mm. So instead of ordering the Mooma to do it, because Moombas are sacred, just we have to go ask it ourselves. Because if the elder says something, then it's an order and he's gotta. Alright. So follow the Moomba back to the workshop and then speak with the attendant again. These guys 
lines actually kind of remind me of Santa's Little Elves, honestly. I mean, it's a village way up north in the snow. They have a workshop where they make stuff. This is very Santa Claus-esque. Now that I think about it, I've never thought of that before. That's cool. I'm gonna do that. Tis a dump. Attendant doesn't want it. I can't tell if that Moomba was laughing or not. That's not fair. This attendant's grumpy. house and speak again. So much back and forth. But it, it's worth it. The status guards the shit. It does exactly what it sounds like. It guards you from status ailments. It's like the ribbon in the earlier games. It just protects you from the status ailments. Which you need to fight Malbros. Which if you have Eden and you use Devour on him you can get um, more stats. I think it's like Vitality or something off of them. Eh, it's good for him. He's like, Squall's like, what? If you liked him so much, why wouldn't you want to work on it, you know? Yeah, that's why. guy who really doesn't want to be elder is going to force him to be elder. Yeah, right? It is kind of sad. Because, like, you can't do what you want because of, like, the religion, pretty much. But, like, it's a physical evolution at the same time, too. It's strange. That's why I'm like, these guys are so interesting. Yeah, so because he's the attendant, he's destined to become elder someday, so he has to stay and be elder. Which is kind of sad, because he, if he were to leave, he can't do that. So, you got anything to say? No? You want to play cards, Irvine? You want to play cards? No? Okay. I guess we'll just skedaddle. And go back to the workshop. I mean, what else are we going to do? step next door real quick and go recruit him to the cause. And he's just saying the same thing again. So now we got to go to the elder's house to go, I guess, command Artisan to go work on it. Give him some help. How much money do I have from all those jobs that I've been doing? 80,000? Oh my gosh. I can't get rid of it fast enough, guys. I'm making 30 grand a pop. Um, tell him to do it? What else? Oh. Oh no. So now... Now it's going to be a problem. We got to go all the way back to Fisherman's Horizon to go talk to the Grease Monkey there and then come back to Shumi Village 
and give a Moomba doll to the artisan. If you guys remember, there's a Moomba doll in the Grease Monkey's house because he spent some time up here learning some stuff. And then we can talk to the elder. So we're going to give this Moomba doll to the artisan. And then we got to talk to the elder to get that status card. Oh man, that's going to be a minute. But while we're in um, Fisherman's Horizon, I mean, I'm not going to do it, but if you guys want to, you can battle uh, the mayor for what, the Quetzalcoatl card, I think, in Triple Triad. And Martine's also there now as well, the uh, he headmaster of the radio card. And he's got some real good shit. Yep, these are the unicorn things I was talking about earlier. These are the ones, if you pop their horn off, you'll get the uh, mesmerized thing off of them. Yeah, for one of Squall's weapons. But it doesn't matter. I'm blowing it up. Lionheart's so OP. Hey, Irvine level. Ooh, life rings are really good. I think you need a life ring for one of the ultimate weapons. We're at a party. There you are. If the horn breaks, then you know you've done it right. Like that, boom. So you just, you just got it, pretty much. By the end of the game, like, you'll have so many of these, it's not even Ow, that hurt. Jesus, it's only 800 damage in our... And what, we're like 44, I think I said? 44, yeah. Hey, she can learn a thing. Oh, just magic. We'll go with health. She's running out of space. I'm gonna need to give her some of the stuff to make her forget about. So, Fisherman's Horizon from here. Kind of tricky to get to. Because we have to go all the way up and around to the west. To this continent that I'm heading towards right now, the, the Timber Deling City continent, we have to get on it and then go around the land. And the reason we could be is there's one hell of a land bridge going from Timber pretty much through like through Fisherman's Horizon all the way over to Esther. So here's a uh, Dalit. I like Dalit. Dalit's cool, but it does not get enough screen time, you know. Yeah, if we keep keep heading south. We'll hit the train tracks. It used, used to be train tracks, but now people just walk over it. So basically, yeah, just have to kind of go south past Timber. Yeah, there it is right there. And then we can just fall off. Actually, are they on this side or are they on that side? They're on one of these sides. Oh, you know what? They're on the Balan side. That's right. So you don't need to cross over. You can just go straight to it. Yep, there it is. I forgot it was on this side because you, you drive it straight from the land into, into it. So you just crash into it, I think. Yep. Again. And then, yeah, you just pop out. Hi, guys. We crashed again. It's like we never left, honestly. It's like you just jumped, sailed right to it again and just parked your boat here. Parked your school. I love the fact that I can park a school. God. It's so dumb, I love it. Hello, I'd like to use your lift, sir. I love how it says familiar face, but you like you don't even take the time to learn these guys' names. These two brothers that operate the lift. It's kind of funny because they only operate the lift to get you to and from your school. And, like, I feel like this is very unnecessary. Like, why both of them to do the lift? And why does this guy look suspiciously like Zone? I don't know. It's, it's a lot. It's weird. Alright. Gotta go this way. Grease monkeys. Yeah, he's down this way.
tell. Now we can get some items while we're here too. I mean, I've got the money. I don't know what else to use my money. Yeah, I don't really sell anything because there's just no point. Monkey? Nope, that's a shark key. Yep, so you can get cutting trigger with your mesmerized blade. But as you can see, it's actually worse than the flame saber I had. So it just again, it just doesn't matter. And then I have Ulysses. I don't use Quistus or I'm not gonna use Renoa. And fuck selfie. Alright, where are you, Mr. Grease Monkey? You're around here somewhere. I'll just keep checking all the locations till I find them. There's only, there's only so many locations he can be. What the hell is that kid doing up there? Hold on, hold on. Oh, we're going back for this. What are you doing? And why are you doing? Why is he up there? What is he trying to do? What? Alright, so I think... Oh, you know what? This is a Grease Monkey's house. I'm pretty sure. Man, that was really hard to see. Hi, sir. Hello, Moomba. There's your Timber Maniacs magazine. <laughs> and we have a problem. So a whole bunch of shit went down. He showed me his hands, it was weird. So yeah, we basically just hired the Grease Monkey to go help the Shumi village out. And bam. Got the Moomba doll and we're off to see the wizard. So he is gonna come with. We just have to take the doll back to Artisan, yeah. Nope, I wanna go this way. So while we travel all the way back up to Shumi Village, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the awesome music. And I'll try to shut up.
it's nothing. It is nothing. Money don't mean shit in this game. Which kind of bothers me. Because, like, I wish you could, like, buy, you know, um, the items that you need to upgrade the weapons. But I also like the fact that you have to go earn them by killing monsters. Because this game's all about you killing monsters. Which I like that it's a salary, too, you know, because it's like you have a job. Uh, an actual job. But at the same time, it's like it's so useless. You don't need money for anything but potions and phoenix downs. I mean, even tents don't make fucking a lick of sense. Basically, it's if you're out in the real world, um, you can just pop a tent and you'll heal up to full. But it's like, why do that? Just walk back to your school and just sleep for free, you know? Um, oh, we gotta go to Artisan, not the Elder. My bad. But, like, there's so many inns and beds that you can sleep in for, like, 100 gil that'll get you back up to full. You don't even need to spend 5,000 gil buying a tent or, heaven forbid, a cottage. Which is exactly what it sounds like. It's like a cottage out in the woods. Like, you're camping in style. You're clamping. That's what it's called. Hello, Artisan. Oh. Artisan, my bad. I went all the way over to here again. Oof, I'm tired. This mu music is so relaxing I'm falling asleep. <laughs> And I've played this game like 10 times in my life now, so I'm just, I know it like the back of my hand at this point. What's happening, bro? Yeah, it's just on repeat now, so... And we just leave. So now, yeah, we just go back to Elder, and then we can go get our status card. Look at that little baby Mooma just riding his face. Nobody's attempted this before. Artisan has decided to become a human. Dope. Yeah, so this guy likes making shit so much he's gonna go to the make shit capital of the world, Fisherman's Horizon, and just build shit with the Grease Monkey. That's such a cool relationship. He's gonna become a human with his evolution. That's so awesome. That's a hell of a trip. And there it is, the status card. Sweet, so let's take a look at the stuff we just got. It took an hour to get. So status card, yeah, GF learns status defense times four. So that means you can be absolutely immune to four status um, defenses all at the same time, instead of just the typical two or three. Ooh, Royal Crown would be real good to give to Siren. No, I think wait. But yeah, no, so um, we're going to have some, we need some more amnesia greens to make, like, Quetzalcoatl learn, forget something. You can just go with, like, some of the basics here, like magic, GF, draw item, because, you know, every single one of them have has it. But for people like Ifrit here, see how he's pretty much full? We need the amnesia greens to get rid of it so he can have some more space to learn some more stuff. So what I actually like to do as well is I like to just get rid of the strength at 20 type things. Um, you don't want the summoning magic damage because that all stacks with it. But these things, since you have to put them on like one at a time, um, I just like to take the strength off 20 um, and then I can add like the, you know, thing up 60. So like if we go to Siren, you know, you can take off her magic up 20% and then put on the magic up 60 and then you just equip the magic up 60 onto them whenever you need it but yeah so that's what the status guard is what else do we get right we got the phoenix pinion is it even here do we have it where are you at it's around here somewhere i 
Oh, nope, there it is. Yeah, Phoenix Pinion, yeah, when used in battle. So like I said, just use that pretty much only for Omega Weapon. Um, it'll resurrect two people at the same time, and then you can, if you die in combat afterwards, which after Omega Weapon you won't, um, then yeah, Phoenix just randomly shows up, resurrects your guys, um, and you can call it a day. It's a really, really low chance though, so that's why I just say just use the Phoenix Pinion itself if you get into a tight spot for Omega Weapon, because it heals two people at the same time instead of Phoenix Down, which can only heal one at a time. So, But that's going to be it for this super long episode. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button, and we will see you next time.